Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore and today we are going to discuss about see out and see in examples in this session. Okay. Now, I am going to give how the see out and see in are working in our C++. Generally, see out is, is equal to printf statement. Okay. Here in C language, we are using printf function for output and the same way in C++, we are going to use C out and here in C language we are using scanf function and in C++ instead of scanf we can use cn. Now, I am going to explain how the C out and cn are working in C++. First of all, C out is a predefined object available in istream.h. Okay. Here watch this. C out is a predefined object available in host stream class okay and this host stream class is available in iostream.h that's why whenever you are going to work with c out first of all we should have to include iostream.h okay that's why in c++ every program generally contains iostream.h because of iostream.h is going to maintain the standard input and output operations. Now, we are going to work with standard output operation that is C out and here C out stands for console output. Now, I am going to give one small example on C out. First uh, header file, next uh, hash include conio.h, later void main and now here I am going to start CLR SCR first because of I want to clear the contents of the console window. Okay? I want to clear the content of console window that is why I am going to use CLR SCR function and here CLR SCR function is a predefined function and available in conio.h that is why I have included conio.h here. Next, now I am going to write like this C out. Okay? Whenever you are going to work with C out, you should have to use insertion operator. Okay? Less than less than is called insertion operator. Here, C out is the object name and less than less than is called insertion operator. Later, what is the text you are going to print should be represented here. For example, welcome to Naresh IT. Now, double quotations close and a semicolon. Okay? Here, C out is the object name and less than less than is called insertion operator and welcome to Naresh IT. It is the text we are going to display on the screen. Next, I am going to use get ch function. Okay? Now, with this we can watch the output directly without pressing alt f5 button. Actually, get character is a predefined function available in conio.h. Generally, get ch is used to read a character from the keyboard. Okay? Get ch is a predefined function which is used to read a character from the standard input device that is nothing but a keyboard. And here, but I am not going to use any character means I am not going to read any character. Here, my aim is I want to stop this output immediately. That means, I am not going to press uh, alt f5 button for that I am going to use get ch because of when this one is used in C or C++ execution order is always uh, top to bottom and every program execution starts from main function. Now, first CLR is here, later welcome to Naresh IT. Now, here the cursor is waiting for the character. Uh, because of this, what happens? Already we are getting the matter on the screen. Uh, now, we are able to display this on the screen directly. That is why there is no need of a Alt F5 button. Now, after execution of this program on the screen, suppose just think it is our monitor. Now, it is going to display welcome to Naresh IT like this because of already CLR SCR is used now. With the CLR SCR what happened? All the contents are clear and cursor is waiting at uh, first row, first column. Okay? Already cursor is waiting at first row, first column. Here it is going to print uh, welcome to Naresh IT. Now, it is the result of uh, this program. Now, the situation is 
I have to write several lines means I have to use several C out then how to work with this ok. This time I am going to use several C out statements. Now the same program I want to extend suppose welcome to Naresh IT Amirpet Hyderabad. Now I am going for another C out C out Amirpet next in another C out uh, Hyderabad. Now what happened? and here get ch ok. Whenever this program is executed first of all welcome to Naresh IT is going to print here ok fine. Later what happens is this after printing welcome to Naresh IT the cursor is waiting here. Now what happens next another C out is there now, now it is executed ok. When it is executed Amir Pet is going to print but where it is going to print means where the cursor is waiting there it is going to show the Amir Pet that means here Amir Pet is going to print ok that is why here Amir Pet sorted. Next uh, after Amir Pet cursor is waiting like this suppose Amir Pet now a cursor is waiting here now the next C out is working next C out contains what Hyderabad now the Hyderabad is going to start here that is why the total 3 C outs which are giving the result in a single line ok. Here I have used uh, 3 C outs in different lines but uh, our result is displayed in a single line but my requirement is I want to display this matter in different different lines. Then we have discussed already ok yesterday also we have discussed that in C++ they have introduced one operator called endl, endl stands for end of line indicator. Now you are able to use endl operator otherwise regularly in C language we are using slash n which is called new line character that is why you are able to use either slash n or endl that is why here suppose slash n now here also slash n that is it. Now what happens welcome to Naresh IT now slash n due to slash n what happens cursor is moved to next line cursor is waiting here now here which one is started Amir Pet after printing Amir Pet slash n is there now that is why now the cursor moved to here that is why the next C out is working here now HYD moves to next line that is why to get the matter to get the C out results in different lines we are going to use slash n otherwise we are having one more option that is nothing but endl. Now how to use the endl in our program how to use the endl in our program simple concept in place of slash n just going to use endl like this ok in place of slash n I am going to use endl like this but uh, here endl is a operator which is also called manipulator here endl is also called manipulator and it should be separated with whenever you are using whenever you are using endl operator it should be separated with the insertion operator and slash n you can insert inside the quotations that is why for slash n there is no need of insertion operator like the normal text you can use the slash n but for endl you should have to go for insertion operator now endl and here also I am going to use another endl that is it. Now what happens first line welcome to Naresh IT due to endl cursor move to next line now Amir Pet due to endl cursor move to next line in next line Hyderabad that means both are giving the same results. But the point is in interviews they are asking the question then what is the difference between slash n and endl ok in interviews they are asking the question what it is what is the difference between slash n and endl because of both are giving the same results now then what is the difference obviously we are getting this doubt. Now the difference is first one is first difference is slash n is called backslash character which is also familiar with the name escape sequence character slash n is called backslash character or escape sequence character and endl is called manipulator it is the first difference between slash n and endl slash n is a backslash character endl is a manipulator next second major difference second major difference is slash n takes one byte memory ok slash n occupies 
one byte memory, but NDEL is not going to occupy any memory. It is the major difference between slash n and NDEL. It is how to work with the NDEL in our program and the working style of C out. Suppose this time here only I have used the text. In this example, I have covered only the text. Now, how to work with the variables? Okay, by using C out, how to print the variables values or expression values. Now, I am going to give variables examples. And first of all, before going to start the variables example, what is a variable? A variable is nothing but a container which contains the values in our programs. Now, when variables is started, when variables topic is started, we have to discuss one important point here. In C language, the variables should have to declare at the first line of any function, but in C++ 